All right, so now that we've seen how to create a new view project with TypeScript automatically included in it, the last thing that we're going to take a look at here is how to add TypeScript to an existing view project. Now, the good news here is that this is actually an incredibly easy thing to do, so it's going to even be a little bit easier than what we saw with our React projects. So if we create a new view project here, and in order to do that, I'm just going to run the view create command again. What we'll do is we'll just say something like TypeScript and view two is the name. What we're gonna do is we'll just set this up without TypeScript initially. And for that, we can just select default view three Babel ES lint. And that will uh, save us from having to select all of those options ourselves. So if we wait for this to complete, what we can do now is we're going to open this up in our IDE. And once again, I'm just going to use code TypeScript and view two. There we go. And now that we have this open here, we should see that uh, this is just like our previous project, except there's no TypeScript to be found, right? So, you know, if you take a look inside the source directory, you're going to see that everything is now in JS instead of in TypeScript. So all you need to do in order to add TypeScript to your project, you're really going to like how simple this is. You just need to run view add TypeScript. And if you hit enter here, what that's going to do is it's going to install the uh, TypeScript plugin into our project. And it's just going to automatically convert everything for us. So first of all, though, it might ask you a few questions. The first one is if we want to use class style component syntax. And just to show you what that looks like, I'm going to say yes here. Okay. And then it's going to ask us again if we want to use Babel alongside TypeScript. We'll just keep the default and say yes. And then here's where it asks us if we want to automatically convert all JS files to TypeScript. We're going to say yes for that as well. And it's also going to ask us if we want to allow JS files to be compiled. We'll just leave the default option of no for that. And then uh, we'll say skip type checking of all declaration files and we'll say yes. Okay, so what that's going to do is it's just going to go through our entire project and you might run into a few hangups if, for example, this isn't a new view project. So if you've already made quite a few changes to the structure of your view project, you might run into a few problems. But overall, the process of conversion here is going to be fairly simple. And what you can see now is that all of our JS files have now been converted to TS files. And it's also added this TS config file, which if you take a look at this, includes all of the necessary presets for a view project. And also, if you take a look at our components now, what you'll see is that Vue has automatically converted those to this view class syntax, which basically makes them look a little bit more like Angular components. Now, they behave differently and they're not exactly the same, but in many cases, this does allow us to take a little bit more advantage of TypeScript in our applications. So, all right, so feel free to play around with this class syntax in Vue. And well, that's the basics of adding TypeScript to an existing Vue project. So I hope this has given you a good foundation for how to add TypeScript and start incorporating it into your Vue projects. All right, so hopefully this has given you a good idea of what it takes to incorporate TypeScript into an existing view project. And, you know, if you want to, feel free to just test this out with any existing view projects that you have. All right, so anyway, that's how to work with Vue and TypeScript.